In this class, we are going to learn how to generate JWT token in order to call Fusion REST APIs without IDCS. Suppose if you are using a Fusion or a Oracle SaaS instance which is not tied up to any IDCS instance, then we will see how we can generate the JWT token only with the help of Oracle Fusion instance and call REST APIs for Oracle Fusion that is with the help of JWT token that is using this JWT bearer token. I have listed down few of the steps which we need to follow in order to achieve this use case that is to generate the JWT user assertion token and then call the Fusion REST APIs. First and the foremost thing is we have to generate the key pair. So I have listed down commands which we need to follow in order to generate the private key. The first step is we have to generate the key that is the private key. Now let me copy this that is by using the OpenSSL command we have to generate. Let me go to my terminal. I am making use of Linux operating system over here. Let me open the terminal within this folder. Let me just expand this and copy this command or paste. Let me just drag this window over here. If you see our private key has been generated successfully. Let's go to the next step that is using the above private key we have to generate this .cr file. Let me just copy this command which will expire in 365 days. Suppose if you want to extend you can provide the number over here. Let me go back to my terminal paste this over here click on enter. It's asking for the country name I will give over here IN click on enter. Province name I will just skip click enter enter enter. Company name enter email address enter. If you see our certificate got generated successfully. Next let me go back to my document. We have to convert the above key that is to the PM format that is by using this command. Let me just copy this and paste it over here. Click on enter. If you see our PM file has been generated successfully. Now let me just go back to my document. Next for signing the converted PM private key we have to convert that to the DR format first. Let me just copy this command from here and paste it over here. Click on enter. If you see our DER file has been generated successfully. Next, let me go back to my document and execute the final statement that is this one. Copy the public key into the public.pm file. That is the content. Let me just do that as well. Click on paste and enter. If you see our pub.pm file has been generated successfully. So these are the steps we need to follow first in order to create the key pair. Next, once we generate the files, next we have to log into our Fusion instance, go to the navigator security console. Let me just navigate you to the same. You need to log into your Fusion instance, expand the tools from the navigation menu and click on the security console. Click on this. Once you have landed into this security console, click on this API authentication. Click on this. Once you have clicked on the API authentication, we need to click on this create Oracle API authentication provider. Click on this. Next, click on edit. Here you have to provide the trusted issuer name. In my case, I will give over here mydemo.com and I will check mark this JWT and click on save and close. So it is saying it is already present. I will give mydemo1.com. Click on save and close. Once you have created this API configuration, we have to click on inbound API authentication. Next, we have to click on this add new certificate. Here we have to give a name. Let me just paste. That is, if you see closely over here, that is aura underscore ASC followed by we will be providing test JWT organization. From here, we need to choose the file that is the public key certificate. Click on this button. Our certificate file is over here, public key.cr, click on open. Once you are done, click on save. Once you have configured the details, your details will be shown over here. That is mydemo1.com and you can verify the details. This is the second step in authenticating the Fusion REST APIs with the help of JWT assertion. I have provided exactly the same steps over here in the document. Now once you are done with this, next step is generating the JWT token. So the next step is generating the JWT token and calling the Fusion REST API. So once you have registered your API credentials in the Fusion instance, next you want to generate the JWT token using which you can authenticate the user. Now here if you see, I have returned one 
javascript function wherein i am loading this private key that is what we have generated in the earlier step that is over here that is private key dot pem that i am loading over here and also the public key i am passing and i am making use of a javascript library over here in order to generate the jwt token now there are two parts while generating the jwt token one is the signature obviously apart from that we are having a header so you have to make sure you generate this xyt key that is in the header object that is nothing but thumbprint now coming to the payload it will have the information of the sub that is the username which i have mentioned over here iss this should exactly match with the issuer name what we had provided while registering our api authentication provider in the fusion instance so this it should match and the aod this here you have to give the fusion instance url that is the host name so these are the things you have to make sure in order to generate the jwt token so once done what you can do is i'm making use of vs code over here so you will be generating a jwt token something like this so in order to verify whether the token is proper or not we can just copy this from here and you can make use of any jwt validator online tools available on the google or any other search engine just you have to paste it over here and you can verify suppose if it is generating the xyt properly type at the algorithm so these three things are very important for fusion that is in the header we have to tell what is the algorithm it should be rs256 type should be jwt and xyt is the thumbprint subsequently we have to provide in the iss the api provider that is the issuer name a subscriber name that is the username on behalf of whom you want to generate this token iat and expiry this will mention between what duration this token will be valid iat means the starting term expiry means the expiry term so this is this is between this duration only our token will be valid so in my case what i have done is generate this token such that the start point will be two days before when we run this code and expiry will be after two days so once we get this token what you would do is we can go head over to the postman we can configure the url for a demonstration purpose i'm just using this public workers api we can go for the bearer token or you can make use of authorization that is bearer space and you can provide the token what you get from here and click on send here if you see i'm getting the 200 okay status from the fusion instance so like this we can make use of jwt token in order to call fusion apis seamlessly that is without the use of idcs so following those steps you can generate the jwt token or bearer token in order to call fusion rest apis so like this we can avoid hard coding the basic authentication or the basic credentials everywhere in your code